Hello, this is Anthony Rowe from AbletonCookbook.com, and um, today I'm going to talk about something that <clears throat> uh, I just discovered right now, and that is the um, LFO uh, controller, which comes with Max for Live. And I usually avoid talking about Max for Live too much, partially because um, I know that not everyone has it, so it might be of limited utility to a lot of people. But I just discovered this thing, and I really, really like it, really excited about it, so I wanted to share it with y'all. So, <clears throat> first, um, let me show you what I have here. I have three um, tracks here. I have uh, two synthesizer tracks. Both of these um, are the Max, also Max for Live uh, synthesizers by Katsuhiro Chiba that I've really been using a lot. I really like them quite a bit. And this one, I just have a, a pretty basic drum rack with a beat repeat after it. So let me just play you what I have here. So I have two upbeat <coughs> um, chords. And I want to add some movement to these. So what I wanted to do, and I'm just kind of taking you through how I discovered this right here. Um, what I wanted to do was to add some ping pong delay. So I put a ping pong delay after this. And one of the coolest things about ping pong delay is that it has this, uh, this filter on it. So basically you can isolate the part of the signal that is being ping ponged, that is being uh, delayed. So I'm thinking, I'm sitting here and I'm like, well this is a pretty cool little chord progression, I like it, but it's a little bit on the static side. So I'd like it if I could just sweep through the range like this. So I could basically just change the frequency of the, of the, uh, of the free, of the filter as I, as the, it goes through. So normally I'd have to use the envelope to, in order to, ch to automate this change. But unfortunately, um, the envelope is going to be just confined to every clip and um, it's a little bit on the difficult side to change. So what I tr decided to try is the um, LFO controller that comes with the new Max for Live. So go into Max Audio Effects, and it's gonna be just right here down at the bottom. And it says Max API Control 1 LFO. So what you do is you put this after the effect, and I think you could actually put it anywhere, but I put it after here just because I'm superstitious. And what this is gonna do <coughs> is gonna allow you to apply LFO control to any parameter in the entire live set. So this is pretty amazing to me because this is like a lot more similar to a modular um, uh, synthesizer where you can basically use an LFO to control any parameter in the synthesizer. Um, so now live has this ability, and at first I saw this and I was like, well, what can I really do that would be different than envelopes? But what you can do and, um, is you can, like I said, you can control this filter sweep using an LFO, so it's gonna be a smooth sweep through. And you can also vary it, which is really cool, with just with the turn of a button. So if you look here, um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is select the target uh, for the thing. So go ahead and press list, and it's gonna get all of the, uh, all of the pertinent devices in the set. So you go ahead, it's a drop down menu, use this track, uh, pick the device, ping pong, parameter, I'm gonna go with filter frequency here. And as you can see right there, the, the um, LFO is gonna start controlling the filter frequency. So if you play it through. And that's, that's pretty cool as it is, but this seems to me a little bit too fast. So you come over here to the left section of the LFO, and clearly this is the LFO on or off, so you can turn it on or off. Um, you can also have it either based on time, or instead of uh, time, it's frequency here. Uh, so if you slow this down, it'll be this way, and if you speed it up, it'll be absurdly fast like this. But I would like, you can also do it on sync mode. So in this case, will be it's not going to go until the uh, transport is going actually right here. But now it's going to be synced to the um, master transport of Ableton, which is really cool, right? So 
So what's also cool is that, so let's say, what I like about this as opposed to say the envelope is that you can then, um, you can experiment with different settings, right? So this one I like quite a bit, but you can also do it even faster if you want. You know, you can do it really slow. You can also, if you'd like to, use different waveforms, which is cool. So this one is gonna basically just bring it up and then drop it immediately back down. You have a noise waveform that's gonna be totally random. Add some variation there. And also what I really like as well is that you can do a max and a minimum here. So if you'd like to have the basically just be confined to the upper sort of uh, frequencies, but still bounce through there. It's never gonna go past, let's say, 50% of this parameter. And as you can see, this is, I mean, this can be really useful, especially if you wanna experiment with a whole bunch of different LFO settings. So um, anyways, I, I, I thought this was something that I'd like to share with you guys, especially because I was probably like you and was a little bit on the skeptical side, um, but now I've seen the error of my ways. So um, this is a really useful uh, piece of um, piece of programming, and I'm really impressed that this came with the newest. And this is with the newest edition of uh, Max for Live. So go ahead and download that if you already have Max for Live. If you don't have Max for Live, you know I would think about getting it because I think it's really it's really cool. It's um, you'll never be bored. That's for sure. And um, the amount of stuff in the library is really growing every time is uh, every day. So there's really going to be a lot of cool stuff uh, coming up. So. Um, go ahead and pick that up if you haven't yet, and uh, I will uh, talk to you guys later. This is Anthony from AbletonCopebook.com. Bye.